this is the magic. Hey, Optimus Prime. Greetings. Transform. The dream robot toy is back. Robosyn's Optimus Prime, the auto-transforming Autobot. I return more powerful than ever. Well, buddy, not so sure about the more powerful part because you have a bigger brother. Hey, Optimus Prime. Greetings. Who are you? I am the leader of the Autobots. See what I mean? This is the new version of Robosyn's Optimus Prime. And as you can see, it's a little smaller, a little lighter actually, and a little less expensive. But does he still have what it takes to make your 80s nerd heart melt? It's a robot showdown, battle of the Optimuses. Optimi, we have Prime Daddy versus Prime Junior. Collector's Edition, Optimus Prime versus Elite Edition. Let's go. Prepare for battle. That was amazing. <laughs> Last year, I got a first look at this original machine, this never before seen Optimus Prime, and it was just so incredible. Look at him, he's proud of it, he blew me away. You can see the video that I made back then, I have the link here and in the description below. But what made this so amazing is that it was voice controlled. It is programmable, uh, you can remote control it, you can learn how to program through it, so it's educational. And for Robosyn, the company behind this to bring it back at a different price point is very interesting to me. This original collector's edition is larger, it's more impressive, and it's more pricey. Right now, Robosyn is listing it for $1,000, whereas this new Elite version is listed for $700. Each of these do the same animations. They can be programmed the same way. They both have 27 servo motors inside. But if you're a mega fan and you're dropping $700 on this version, the Elite new version, you have to wonder, are you getting the same experience as this original model? Are you gonna be happy knowing that Steve down the street has the bigger one that can kick your Autobot butt? Let's start by having a voice command challenge. You start by saying, hey Optimus Prime. Greetings. And there's about 40 different things you can say. Ah, see, he wants to win this one. Some commands are simple, like turn right or turn left, but others are more animated and more fun. Open fire. Fire now! Look out. Autobots, a face of maneuvers. You are my friend. Engage. One thing I've noticed is that sometimes my model keeps getting stuck on the same animation. I just have to turn him off and on again. Uh, he really wants me to know that I'm his friend. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. We're gonna go to sleep now, buddy. Megatron must be stopped, no matter the cost. And then he just kind of falls asleep on your table. <laughs> there you go. It's so, it's so chaotic. <laughs> yeah, best to put him asleep when he is a truck. I'm gonna turn him back on again and help him up. All right, let's start talking about accessories because our hero definitely has a few weapons. Uh, on each of these, there is a battle axe and a pew pew laser gun. You don't want to have these on when he's doing certain animations. So for safety, I don't keep them on all the time. I just wanna have fun with him without accidentally damaging anything. Get your blaster in there, baby. There you go, nice little clickety click. Be gentle. Now you wanna get in the app mode so you can have full control over the animations. You do not want to be having him animate with an accessory in his hand when he might do the wrong animation and snap it and accidentally turn into a car and that'd be a disaster because this is an investment, you know? We gotta be really careful. Win the war. 
So what you'll do is you'll Bluetooth connect it. Connection complete. Now let me lower the volume here. You can really rock out on this app. Uh, we also can have the option to buy more accessories. Yes, he has a trailer. It's sold separately. Also expensive. This is his trailer. He connects to it. This also can be controlled with the app to open up. It's a lot. I didn't expect that. <laughs> Come back down. Don't even get me started on this guy who rolls out. All of these are Optimus Prime. All very cool things. <laughs> it's all cute stuff, but we're gonna focus on him right now. And uh, you can uh, be able to pilot him by manually telling him to do different animations. Turn around, do a little sidestep, a little side shimmy. And through this app, um, you can unlock more actions if you go through programming tutorials. So Robeson really made this a educational app. Um, you go through create, you can customize your animations. You could actually make him animate certain ways by moving him around or do block-based programming. Uh, and they created a way to learn programming through little missions. Very customize your arsenal. And so it takes you through and you learn how to how to do that was too easy it gets harder as it goes so some people have gone on this program and he can he can do he could do kung fu he could do taekwondo this is pretty cool stuff um he has fighting um there there are there are animations through the app that you can't do with voice controls um like like maybe you want to see him do a few push-ups <laughs> Give me 20. That's good. Mm -hmm. Look at those robot muscles. I need energon. Oh. oh, I tired him out a bit. Now let's take a look at what the app is in the new Elite model. Connection complete. But because the Elite model is too small to connect to the trailer, there's no option here for the other accessories, of course. That's why they made a separate one. You can kind of tell. The layout is different, but there are still ways to program. Missions, uh, block-based programming, learn to program, remote control. It just is all designed a little differently. How you doing? You can even make them say different things in the remote control as well. Ooh. Oh. Excuse me. Doing the choppy chops. I, I feel like the original app is a little more intuitive when I'm poking around. Each have the same things. I'm just trying to find, okay, where are the sounds? Where can he do all his things? I get a little confused. You can have not just him animate different ways, you can give him background music during the animation, have him say certain pre-programmed phrases, all with the original voice actor, Peter Cullen. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. It's legit. Both do have manuals and guidebooks to kind of walk you through everything. And there's a Facebook community that also talks about everything you could do. People try to make special programs for it. But sometimes you just kind of wish it was maybe a little easier to figure it out on this new app compared to the other one. Maybe they'll come out with a little update to make it easier. The experience is very close. If you never saw the original, you would love the Elite Edition. The app is just really where our original boy shines. It's just so good. And the little breathing animations are just a little bit better on him. He's just doing a little more, having more fun. But if you get the Elite, you're gonna have a great experience too. So it's great that they're making this at a lower price point. I know, I know you wanna have your moment. You are having your moment again, I know. But 
when this guy is gone, he's gone. The company says they're not making more of the originals. So if you're a super fan, you might want to get him because you can have more accessories or be able to do a little bit more on the app. And if you go through Hasbro's site, they do have it at a better price at $750 while it lasts. So that's something to keep in mind. Elite here is still a winner, still fun to play with. You're gonna have a lot of fun and I'm glad to see that Robeson is making more and continuing to invest in what they can do with this. I would love to see the app do more. So let's hope that app gets updated in time and maybe they'll make a trailer for the back. Maybe they'll make some friends for Optimus here. I mean, how cool would it be to have a little sound wave who turns into a boom box? Yeah, I mean, he's an enemy. He's a Decepticon, but still they can battle and then they can have a dance party with the boom box and the cassette tape player. You know, just saying, ideas. I wanna hear what you think. What else would you like to see Optimus do? I wanna see him be able to control my smart home. Maybe like control my lights. Can you do that? Can you do that? Can you tell me about my doctor appointments? That would be pretty sweet. Let me know in the comments if there's a transformer you wanna see them make. Um, maybe an old 80s toy that they should put more robotics life into. Like what if they brought back Teddy Ruxpin? Just saying. It could happen. <laughs> Thanks for watching. Hey, Optimus Prime. Greetings. Roll out. Let's roll. Don't go too far. <laughs>